right, hello everybody. Welcome to Optimism Practical, season three. We're here for our 25th meeting. I have the pleasure to be here with Will and Zug and Rosemary and Deez from Mode and Minzy Wong as well. So two new people at Optimism Practical. Welcome, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Hope that you're having a wonderful day. Hope you had a great spring break too. We haven't been here at, at Optimism Practical for the past uh, two weeks now. So it's a pleasure to see y'all and uh, I'm very excited for the event today. If anyone wants to um, say a quick hello, feel free. I have a presentation ready uh, for anybody who's not familiar with Optimism Practical, as well as an exciting topic on the agenda for today for after Respect Game. And we'll also give a little intro to, to Respect Game 2 for anybody who's not familiar yet. So I'll jump into it, but if anyone wants to say a quick hello or anything like that, then feel free. Otherwise, we'll get the presentation going. I see Zug is putting up the tree. Very nice to see. <laughs> hello, hello, All hello. Right, Let's and... go for one more season. Sounds great. Thank you very much, Zoo. I see Will putting up the hearts too. Rosemary's on camera too. Great to see all the, uh, all the amazing people here. Okay, and we're here at optimismandfractal.com. For anyone who's not familiar, this is where you can learn about Optimism Fractal. It's a community dedicated to fostering collaboration and awarding public goods, careers, and optimism, creating uh, amazing experiences and working to build an abundant future. It's a great place to meet optimists at our weekly events that we host every Thursday at 7 to UGC and make friends and collaborate with talented innovators and collective. And each week we coordinate our meetings with something we call with a respect game. It's a consensus game that uh, where each participant shares what they're doing to help optimism generally introduce themselves. And then we collaborate to rank each other's contributions and the higher rank you get. Um, and when we all reach consensus or two thirds of people reach consensus, then uh, you receive a to soul bound token called respect. And when you help more and receive a higher rank, then you get more respect. And there's all sorts of amazing power that can come out of that too. It's a great place to promote your work since we uh, post videos each week and we produce really beautiful videos um, to spread the word about public goods creators. And we're working to grow optimism and optimistic vision, which you can learn more at optimism.io too. Um, we have a notion site where people can get involved with all the public goods that we're creating. There's lots of development we're doing. So very welcome to get uh, to help contribute. And there's also funding opportunities for public goods creators too in the optimism community. And we have governance processes and tools that are building the OP stack so people can explore much more at optimismpractical.com. I'm just going to give a quick presentation now, though, and check out Lou.Masters Optimism Practical to register and invite friends, encourage you to do so. We love to meet new people. We publish the videos, as I said before, every uh, every week, and we actually caught up on most of the videos from season two as well. So you can see all 22, Retro Funding Optimism Practical, and also The Joy of Consensus, Players Design. Big shout out to Rose Marie for making beautiful images about a test fest with the EAS, Ethereum Attestation Service, uh, sewing stories with Poe apps. Fractal Fruits with cultivating connections when we talked about referral systems, changing times when we changed the time uh, for after the Fractal a couple months ago, and then back to respect trees and many more that you can see. I just wanted to give a quick shout out uh, and show the recently published episodes. Um, I recommend everybody to join them. Lots of amazing contributors who are contributing these. And we're also posting um, to promote Optimum Fractal, encourage people to retweet and so forth on Twitter and Farcaster and the Optimum channel. Also posted on the base channel for the first time today too and most my posts on the optimism governance forum. So uh, and we post every week and encourage people to check it out. We're gonna play the respect game today, uh, which I'll go over in a bit. I kind of gave over a little bit of a uh, an overview. We've actually been talking a little bit in the Discord about what a respect game is, but I'm also gonna to mention too, before we get into the respect game, we usually do an optimism back planning session right at the end of, or at the top of the hour for anybody who wants to stick around. Um, the respect game lasts up until the top of the hour at 18 UTC, and then we do another half hour for the planning session. And there was a proposal today that I put out to uh, start playing a consensus game called Agendas after each Optimus Practical event and start a new community forum, a new event called the Optimus Town Hall that replaces the uh, planning session as well. So I'll get into more detail about this later uh, after the respect game for anybody who can stick around, uh, but just to provide like a very quick overview um, I'm, I'm very excited about this proposal and I think it will provide a great direction for the community in the third season and I'm curious to everybody's thoughts. There's a proposal up where everybody can vote on it. Um, basically, agendas is an overview here, but quick overview is it allows people to vote with respect that they've earned in the respect of previous events on topics to discuss after the Optimism Impactful event. And, um, each topic at the end of the at, at a certain time in the week, whichever topic has the most votes will be the topic that we discuss. So it's a democratic way to choose topics and choose priorities and also um, uh, proposing to start up an Optimum Town Hall to talk more about the Optimum Collective and also structure it more with this uh, agendas respectful consensus game. So 
proposal there where we can learn more and some amazing artwork and so forth. But we'll get into more details about that too. Appreciate Will casting the vote on this as well. And people could check this out, the proposal on Snapshot and vote. Um, and there's also a announcement post with more details here too, where you can find rationale and projects about these. This will be decided by the Office of Director Council, which is chosen by the top most respected, um, the people who have registered to be in the council. Um, so there's a few people there, but this has already been a long presentation. So I'll wrap it up soon. I see he's always raising his hand too. So um, maybe I'll just, quick, quick, just quickly finish the presentation first. If anybody's not familiar with Optimism, check out optimism.io, building a world that benefits all owned by nobody. Amazing stuff going on with the optimistic vision too, um, and retro funding, lots of opportunities for funding too. Um, so anyway, I'll wrap it up there and encourage you all to check out the site to learn more. But also what we'll do now is uh, if anybody has any quick comments, then feel free to share. But otherwise, we will play the respect game where each person will take up to four minutes to share what they're doing to help optimism. Also, feel free to just introduce yourself in general. Um, and then after each person takes a turn, ask any questions, then we'll work to reach consensus on who helped the most, the second most, the third most, and so forth. And we split up into breakout groups too. So we split up into groups of three to six, and I think we have seven people here. So I'm going to stop the screen share. Thanks so much for everybody for um, being here and listening to the presentation. Hopefully there wasn't too much information, lots to share coming with a new season. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, I think it's all you raise your hand. So if you want to share anything, then feel free. But otherwise, we can go into breakout groups. And I think that we'll have Unless anybody wanted to just listen in, that's okay. But otherwise, we'll go into two breakout groups with uh, four people in one group and three people in the other group. Sounds good to me. I just wouldn't wanted to ask for the voting, um, just to reiterate, because I don't know if you said it, and I don't know if I missed it. Um, is it only the top six people who are in the council, right? That's votes matter for uh, the agendas? So no, so for agendas, it'll it will just be anybody who votes uh, with their respect, um, and then and just the total what's amount the of votes. the difference between under what? So what is the? What is there a reason why that's different? Then, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. So uh, with the Office of Fractal Council, the way it works is that. Um, there's a weekly registration poll where anybody can register to um, become a counselor and, and use earned respect. And then the top six people or the top six people who have earned the most respect who registered for that poll will be part of the council. And then they can approve proposals that can help make collective decisions for the community or also just express community opinions and so forth. And those proposals can be for, for anything basically for the community uh, that the community wants to oh, I see. decide. So the proposals Whereas this is specifically for agenda though. setting. Okay, I see. Yes, uh, and, and this will just be every week if it's approved where there's just always topics and it's not just the top six uh, counselors who vote, whose votes matter in that case, but just everybody who votes with respect, whichever topic has the most votes will be the topic that is discussed. So I hope that clarifies it. Thank you all for the question. And we could also go into more details about this after the respect came to. Um, I'm excited to do so. And I will start the breakout room now. I hope that everybody has a great time. It looks like Zal is, or, 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 or it looks like Zug is chilling right now, enjoying the, uh, <laughs> enjoying the hammock life. All right, very nice. Okay, rooms are open. Have fun, and we'll be back here by the top of the hour. Season two alumni here, or you previous, go. whatever season it was. Very nice. Yep, season two. That's right. Oh, okay. Cool. Great to see you here. Um. Feel free. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if there's something else you're saying as I join there, so feel free to continue that. Or also, we can get started with the respect game and start sharing our, our work whenever we're ready as well. Let's get into the respect game. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> okay, sounds let's good. Go. Well, would any of you like to go first then? I guess I'm volunteering myself to go first, right? It sounds good. And by the way, Will, I know you share your screen before and give great presentations. Everybody's uh, welcome to share your screen if you want. Um, so if you wanted to show your work visually, then you can feel free to do so. Not needed, but it's not. I'm just going to describe my work. I'm not going to share it uh, today. So that's fine. Maybe maybe next week. I'm not that prepared. Anyways, okay. um, yeah, go ahead and put the clock on me and uh, we'll get started. Okay, clock is getting started now. Okay, uh, specifically for optimism, uh, since we've been on spring break, I don't know that I've been a heavy contributor optimism. Um, we did find out and get some good feedback 
on our uh, builders mission grant uh, that we applied for for season five mission 22, I believe it was, um, like the rationale and the reasoning behind why it wasn't accepted uh, into the uh, next review process, which I feel was like concluding yesterday, right? Um, but that feedback and creating those feedback loops is very much important uh, for us to know uh, the direction to go. And basically what the reviewer said is that, you know, action is uh, more qualified than intent. So they said, yeah, we need to see more. So now we're better prepared going into the next se season when we submit uh, for a similar grant uh, for the optimism ecosystem. So I would say like a direct benefit or direct participation optim optimism ecosystem, that's probably the main highlight since we last met. However, for the overall Web3 global ecosystem, uh, we've been doing a lot. We we're just coming off of a, uh, a two week, 24 seven live broadcast to spotlight and showcase amazing individuals who are project leaders, founders, community leaders in the regenerative uh, space. So whether that's regenerative finance, whether that's climate solutions, whether that's social impact, whether that's the environmental impact, biodiversity that they're making. Um, so we we did conclude that uh, um, two days ago now, um, and that was our primary activity over the uh, spring break session. Uh, so thank you for having the spring break because that kind of took some stress off our shoulders of like, oh my gosh, where are we going to go participate? But uh, we all have choices, right? That being said, additionally, specific brand at home to Kingfisher's Media. So if you don't know about Kingfisher Media, I know about me. My name is Will T. I'm a four-year veteran of the blockchain ecosystem. I am the founder of Kingfisher's Media. We're coming up on our one-year provenance anniversary of being established on the Ethereum and the Polygon blockchains uh, next Monday. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we migrated recently our learning center from a more Web2 native solution uh, to a more Web3 native solution. And we've been able to mobilize it and um, gamify it in terms of making the uh, certifications that we provide against all of our learning content have more meaning with our learner base. Uh, I'll say that in this way. We've implemented, uh, well, one, our migration is now into Charmverse. So that's the pl our platform of choice for housing all of our content for our learning. Center. Additionally, because of their recent integrations, we're now able to back up every course completion with an Ethereum attestation provided by Ethereum attestation service. So that is a, a specific schema um, that they've deployed out onto the Optimism uh, blockchain. Um, additionally, we back up that uh, certification. So it's like a dual certification with a, uh, an ERC 1155 that speaks directly towards that course. Um, and then we've been able to integrate some tokens, already existing tokens are out there, like OP token is one of them right, under consideration um, as a rewards mechanism inside of that. And, and a lot of these tokens that we're curating for the rewards mechanism of this are ones where the learners know that they're making a difference in some other part of the Web3 ecosystem or maybe even just the Web2 ecosystem, right? So outside of Web3, um, whether it's a social impact, environmental impact, a biodiversity impact, uh, whatever it is. So yeah, that's uh, in flight as we speak for all of our learner base. And uh, yeah, just great to be here. I could go on for another four minutes, but I'm not going to take up too much more off. All right, great, Will. That was uh, very timely of you and uh, lots of amazing work packed in there. So thank you very much. And whenever you're ready, you can, uh, if you want to pick somebody to go next, then feel free. Oh, I'm going to pick on Zook. Uh, go then. Just because uh, I'm, I'm jealous then. of all your, I'm jealous of your watch because <laughs> I don't have any. That's why. <laughs> uh, well, appreciate. It. It takes a lot of work. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll bring the screen a second, but you can, you can time me. Uh, already. Yeah, we're ready to go. Okay. Okay, turn on now. Okay, so this past week I've spent actually this through the spring break a lot of time reading a bunch of all things OP. And 
and decided that it made sense to create a delegate profile, yes, NLP, and start taking a look at the proposals, trying to be part of the decision process also. I think it's part of an important uh, role in there. Uh, very, very excited on it. Took me a while to, to find all I needed to understand before I did this. OP is quite complex on the, on the collective. And I found it pretty, pretty interesting to explore through all different articles and docs and see what is what and understand what you need to go to the forum to understand also. That was like a, the most exciting part. Uh, beyond that, I've been back working with Africa Defy Alliance. That's uh, it's a, a group starting a DAO to bring better loans to an the to the African continent, like to understand this goal of bringing hundred billion dollars to medium and small companies uh, as as loans. Uh, we've been setting up the DAO uh, for that on OP. Uh, we're currently finishing up the setup of Build. This was our first membership that we did a few months ago. Uh, just the the test of how it would do. So this week we deployed. Uh, the new keys for all the different types of members that uh, the DAO has, like different uh, paths of entry for individuals, for companies, for the different players that uh, that have different roles in the DAO. Uh, and it's been been quite fun exploring uh, more of what there is of tooling uh, on OP to like make communities, to make engagement, to make governance, all the all the parts. We went on a some good. Uh, some good research of all the, the pieces we could bring uh, together for it to make the DAO from the first uh, from the first step of getting a membership and unlock and going through all the different spaces you could uh, use from there to to make a DAO with field for community uh, mashing Discord and Telegram using Matrix to have a single part of communication that integrates both platforms, governing your NANs, seeing all the different things that we can do with a safe and hats based structure. Uh, yeah, it's been, been a fun, fun process of more, more thinking than, than implementing, reading, reading a bunch because of the delegate part and yeah, been, been feeling more, more OP more part of OP <laughs> than, than before through, through going through all that, like publishing this thing, like, okay, I want to, to get in as, as part of governance. I want to pay my attention, have my commitment to other people that I'll be there reading, revising, and have a part of the uh, opinions there to keep things accountable. Uh, it's been a good feeling and pretty excited about coming weeks, uh, getting more and more into OP. Super and in cool. my last seconds, I'll I'll, I'll popcorn Min C Wang to to be the next one. You always gotta be the last Dan. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> and since you can actually love the user flow for now, like I love to if you don't mind sharing, I love to like follow up with that later because it's just a really fascinating area of exploration for me. Um, so quick intro. Uh, I've been in the crypto space for nine years, but for mostly building market making um, early stage, like, well, back in the day, like market making um, exchange payment service. And then the most, re most recently in the ZK space, um, working with Espresso system, but I left the company last year, now building in the regenerative finance space, because we're looking at how to create um, decentralized validation for our ecolog ecological data, and also, um, allowing those validation to be post obviously on chain. So um so I guess I'm I have been involved in optimism, but in a more not directly as on an out delegate more, I guess as a community member. So very inspired to see Luke's kind of delegation profiles. I think I'll try to do the same just to be more involved because um actually super interesting the super chain development because I think it's 
um, it's such a interesting way to allow to basically support like different LTUs and um, and kind of bring all the fragmented liquidity and user together. So yeah, so basically just want to hear what other people are doing in the super chain space. And um, I guess, so I would say on the optimism side, I'm basically exploring and trying to figure out where I fit. And then specific to the project I'm working on, we're obviously looking and planning out where we want to deploy um, uh, basically our, our implementation of the county's kind of validation service and data service. So obviously optimism is the top choice and just want to know better how to work and how, which, which, like what option makes sense basically. Um, I guess specifically more generally in, in the Web3 space, um, I'm signed up to judge for East Berlin, I guess, end of May. So that's like one thing I guess I'm doing just generally. And then um, and then in terms of like the 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 project working on, um, actually a lot of progress, but a lot of it is off chain. So we're also looking to build like a more like complex system model for ecology just to understand the revenue info. Um, coming in and out of any regenerative land practice or you know ecosystem overall, so basically thinking through that, and also looking at working with IoT sensor providers on those ecological data. So I haven't started the mapping of the user journey yet, so it's very cool to see Zeus work. But um, that's something that will be coming up. But yeah, overall exploring and love to learn more from people in the group. And I'll pass it back to to Dan because I think I don't need the entire four minutes. Okay, sounds good. Well, thank you so much, Min. That's a that's amazing. Welcome uh, once again, and really appreciate you sharing all all, all the cool things you're up to. Um, I suppose I can go, but but also um, I suppose because you still have a bit of time left. Um, there's one thing I was curious about um, is. The, uh, you, you mentioned several different things that you're working on, and the, the, I think there was a main project that you said that you were thinking about deploying on Optimism. And just to be clear, was that the project that um, it's working in the ZK space, and you're working also with the regen like space? And you said something about like like decentralized validation or something like that. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't totally understand it, but if you want to just clarify or just just, just re explain that. Just yeah, sure. So just to be very clear, I, I left my the company I work for in ZK space, space quarter four of last year, but I'm obviously still a privacy geek. So very much it's been three years in that space. So obviously still a friend of the community. Um, but what I'm building is in ZK based because honestly we're validating like sensor data. And I mean I know it's possible to do, but then it's we, we might want to start working with protocol like TrueVid where um, you're basically validating like an API call or function and then post the result on chain. So that's more like a validation service. Sure, it's in the regen space, but I would say we're climate tech versus regen. Does that answer your question? Yes, I think so. Uh, I'm, I'm still curious to learn more. If, if you have any links that you want to share, then I'd be happy to dig into it at some point um, and, and check it out. But then that helps provide more clarity too. So I appreciate it and um and I'm looking forward to exploring more about it. Yeah, no, we're we're not like we're we're I don't think we're like it's a project that's not like public and we're oh it's not public yet? Okay. Yeah, yeah. But and okay. we're really still scoping and developing a lot of the actual technical stack and working with design partners. So the usual thing where I don't think I don't think there's any would be any material to share, but I'm very happy to discuss one off on what we're building because it's it's meant to build a huge part of it is making people care about nature conservation and public good, which is why I'm drawn to this group because essentially you can't really care about what you can't measure. And we are trying to do our small part of making sure to shift the conversation away from biodiversity credit or carbon credit because it's a bit of a messy, I mean, there's still so many things, so many things you can do in that space, but we care about the data and the validation that support the growth of those those um, instruments. So yeah, so so you can also build interesting DeFi protocol in the future, but we're really, really focused on the validation data. But yeah, I'm happy to chat offline and maybe share 
like write up on kind of design concept if you're curious, but it's not really public yet. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. Thank you for clarifying and I'd be happy to follow up sometime and also looking forward to following your progress whenever it is, uh, whenever it's public too. And it sounds like an awesome mission too. So very happy to help you however we can. And, and I'm glad that you find some alignment um, and that I'm um, hoping that Optimus Fractal can help you very much. And also I saw Will was putting out hearts and rockets and all sorts of stuff like that too. So very cool to see. Um, I suppose I'll go now. There we go, raising the roof. <laughs> Lots of regen awesome. going on here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's that? Uh, no, just nice to see other uh, refi and kind of environmental conservation folks on the call. So very cool. Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. Well, I'll go ahead now um, and share what I've been doing with my presentation, and then we can uh, get into consensus as well and um, play the game a little bit. But first, I'll go ahead and share what I've been up to. So. I'll share my screen here. Okay, cool. Um, so I've been working on regen stuff uh, quite a lot. I've been very busy in this spring break. Uh, and one of the main things that I discussed in the beginning was planning for offers and factual season three. So I'll go over in more details about this later, but this is something I've been working on a lot this week because like Zug, I've been looking into, I've been reading all the optimism collective posts and Optimism Foundation posts on the forum um, and trying to figure out how to best serve uh, the Optimism Collective with Optimism Fractal. Um, and so they've been putting a lot of posts and I suppose I could lead with like, uh, I, was, I was doing lots of research, as I said, and I have a post here and so many pages in Notion that would be difficult to give like a clear po a, a clear overview of what I've been doing because a little bit, some of it's disorganized, but I've been reading all these different posts from uh, the Optimism Collective and figuring out how we can help and they're aiming to decentralize and help the community govern and uh, try out different things like experimenting with, with deliberative process and so forth. So a lot of it's gotten into my thinking about how we can help here at Optimism Factor because we're uh, pioneering a lot of these processes for uh, decentralized governance and, and coordination and working public goods creators. So um, I, I've been working on this uh, and experimenting with this game called Cagendas for the past uh, year or a year and a half at Eden Factor, which is another community that I host. Um, and so I've been, uh, I finally got the time to really work on structuring that and branding the town hall as well and think about how we can uh, use this to provide value to the community. But I think maybe I'll save that for later because uh, there's more that I can share as well. And then we can discuss that in the uh, post breakout room session if everybody's up for it. I also work with Rosemary closely on making uh, all these promotions and like, we try to make the art really beautiful. Um, so we, you know, we work closely on all the video production uh, and all the posts and stuff like that to help get the message out as best as possible each week. And then I made the proposal. Um, <clears throat> and then there's been lots of technical projects I've been working on too. So I didn't have a chance to organize it so well, but here's like a kind of high level overview of something I was planning to share with the Optimistics team, because I host a meeting usually most weeks with Optimistics where we discuss uh, technical initiatives that we're doing to help build Optimum Fractal. Um, and what I've been aiming to do in the, uh, in the Optimum Fractal Notion site, that's where I've been like spending most of the time, um, I showed that before, is just like make a bunch of projects and tasks and try to provide as much helpful information as I can to foster like a collaborative open source development for Optimum Fractal in terms of um, like development and, and, and technical development to build the tools. We have a lot of tools that we're aiming to build um, and also marketing and promotion and education stuff. There's so much we're building. So I've been building this page up over the past months and building education hub and development hub and adding all these different projects and tasks that I've been doing every week. And there's like hundreds of them now. Um, but particularly this week uh, um, or these past couple of weeks, actually, I guess I could say since it's been a while since we've uh, been on break, um, I mentioned the planning office after season three and there's like all sorts of tasks here. Um, uh, another thing I've been working on is working on researching half protocol and a system called roles and reputations um, that um, a great developer who joined last Optimum Fractal uh, shared, which uh, has some really inspiring things here. I've been looking at the different token standards for respect to such as uh, ERC 1155 and I've been working a lot on designing an app for uh, respect game and Optimum Fractal to make it really easy for anybody to play this game. Um, so. Yeah, as I said, my presentation is a little bit disorganized because I was so focused on just getting these promotional messages out beforehand, but you can check out like some of these projects, for example, um, well, well, I can go to the project here about, there's a build option factor project, which I've been working a lot and the exploring integrations with this roles and reputations um, app as well. So I've been organizing these projects and trying to make like uh, helpful introductions and provide context and then providing different tasks that I can contribute to as well as other people can see to help uh, get involved with these initiatives too. 
Um, I've been thinking of also making an auxiliary spec token for uh, like so that delegates and uh, badge holders can vote in games like agendas and so forth, and that we can use respect to help guide the decisions in the collective. Um, and that's four minutes there. So I suppose I'll wrap it up there. I just maybe, uh, oh, this is one project I work on a lot where how we can vote with respect to Notion and Snapshot and stuff like that. So lots of stuff like that, like technical working with developers to try to figure out the best ways that we can provide tools uh, to make uh, it's easy for people to play the respect game and earn respect, and then also use that respect to uh, access different roles and to be able to vote in different ways to help guide and lead the collective. Um, and I'm happy to go into more detail about that in the future. So that's it for me, and I'll stop my screen share. And thanks for the hard Duke. I appreciate it. And with that, if anybody has any questions or comments for anybody, then feel free to uh, share it now. I'm also going to share in the in the Zoom chat rather. Um, a link to a Telegram chat, uh, and this is going into a Telegram mini app or a Telegram client technically called Fractogram that um, a great developer named The Dot, who's on the Optimus 16, uh, built. And so I'll ask everybody to join that. Basically, it works in Telegram, and then I'll put up some um, a poll or a prompt where everybody uh, will enter their Optimism account or their public key as a response. And then we'll have polls where we can vote on who hooked the most, who hooked the second most, and third most, and so forth. I see that Zug and Will joined. So, Min, do you have Telegram? And 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 and, and is Min appropriate, or should I say Min C? You're muted right now. Um. Yeah, I I do. I I click on a link, but I think my Telegram probably is um still processing I hopefully you should join I so I'm part of of 25 I think in the um in oh, the link okay sounds good for some reason it didn't update on my screen but I'm going to check on my other device and see if it updated it doesn't show the message of joining but it shows the members okay so yeah I, the join. yes I see four members now okay Cool. So it worked a little strange that it didn't show joining, but we're all here now. Uh, by the way, I, I I said Min just kind of quickly before, um, but I, I suppose I pronounce your name Min C is the correct way to pronounce. It. Is that correct? Oh, um, yeah. No, don't worry. I I go by both, so it's not a big deal. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for clarifying. Uh, so I'm going to put this poll up here, um, and now if everybody can please to their optimism account as a reply to that message, then that'll work in the app so that um, it'll make it easy once we vote in the polls that the um, that we can post consensus on chain and that respect can be sent to your account after we reach consensus. And if anybody had any questions or comments for anybody, in the meantime, feel free. I, I did have one question for Zug. Um, I was curious, um, you, you, you were showing the mural board and that looked really fascinating, all the stuff you were building with Zug. And I was wondering, um, I think I missed like a sentence or two in the beginning. What exactly was that mural board for? What were you designing and and, and, and building there? Oh, the, that board is the, the structure of how the DAO members are gonna, like the whole flow. Anytime I'm doing like consulting for a new DAO, like that's, I try to build this whole flow, like to make sure we're covering every single step of the member journey. So how do they find us? How do they join us? What do they need to go do? Like it's, let's say a proto documentation, just like a mapping of all the steps needed so we can actually build the community experience from a single source of truth. Something, something like this. I don't really know how to define it. It's just what I used to think. <laughs> I use that thing to make my thoughts clear when I'm trying to draft like, okay, where do you vote? It's here. How do you vote with that? Like, just put everything in the same place. Okay, interesting. And, and, and is that with your work with Blockful, or, or is that just with uh, is that with a different project, or just in general, like a personal project? Oh, uh, Africa Defy Alliance has been a project I've been working with for and oh, okay, like that was six with Africa. Okay. Uh, no, yeah, before I joined Blockful, I was uh, doing uh, mostly consulting like one DAO to the next DAO to the next DAO and like either optimizing their processes or creating it from scratch. Uh, Africa Defy was one one of those projects, one of the coolest ones to be honest, but 
on a, on a those projects that I was looking at. Okay, very right, cool. Well, thanks for sharing and thanks for answering. Mincy, have thanks you been able asking. to? <laughs> oh, oh, of course. Thanks so much for showing. The, your presentation was awesome. They're super inspiring. Um, uh, have you been able, Mincy, to uh, get your Optimus account? And did you see how me and Will and Zook did it, where we all responded there? Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm like <laughs> still setting. I'm, I'm, I haven't been very active, I confess, in the Optimus system. I've been more in ZK space, so it takes take some time. Um, okay. Yeah, my no address. Okay. Could you please, um, the, just the way this app works is it needs to be a reply to the original prompt. Do you see how each of us, we did a reply. So if you're on a computer, yeah, there you go. Okay, now that'll work. Um, and if anybody else had any other questions for anybody that might be helpful to reach consensus, if you're not sure who should be the top level or second level and you wanna ask any questions or are curious and feel free to ask. Um, and uh, well, feel free to ask any time, but I'll also just put the poll out now. So now you can vote on the poll as well. And who should you rank at level six is basically who do you think did the most to help optimism? And it's usually over the past week, um, but I suppose since we've been on a break for a few weeks, um, then you can just do who helped over the past few weeks as well. Okay, so it looks like um, everybody voted and there was two votes for Zug and two votes for me. So me and Will voted for Zug and Zug and Mincy voted for me. So we have to reach consensus at, at least two thirds consensus in order to move on to the next ranking and to receive respect. So right now we don't have consensus. Um, so if anybody would like to share oh, their uh, rationale uh, thoughts. We, we, I we normally don't vote results. for myself, but... but and it took a lot of work so i'll change the votes for myself this time <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> sounds good <laughs> i was going to campaign for you and say hey learning how to be a delegate in a very high structure governance ecosystem is not an easy job so i give you applause kudos and congratulations for, for, for yourself Thank you. I, I, i've been I, I, i've been to a few of those and i never voted for myself but this time this this week i'm, I'm, I'm proud of the of the research work so i'll take this one <laughs> thank you sounds good yeah very well deserved congrats on, on being a delegate that's uh, super cool and then all the other work you shared is amazing so i love the presentation so i'm very happy to see you get level six and get the most respect this week and now we have level five so this is basically who do you think uh deserves a second most respect this week. By the way, each level gets about uh, 50 or 60%, or it's, it's like 60% more respect than the previous level. So everybody gets respect though. And we're just missing a vote from Mincy. Mm -hmm. I voted, sorry, I'm a bit slower. Okay, no problem, take your time. Okay, it looks like uh, I got three of the votes and Mincy got one of the votes. I'd vote for Mincy, but uh, Mincy and Will and do vote for me. So um, I suppose I'll happily accept that. So thank you all very much, really appreciate it. And then we'll go to level four. And so far we have votes from up. Oh, we have votes from everybody and there's two votes from Mincy from me and Will and two votes for Will from Mincy and Zoo. So would any of you like to I, share their rationale I, I, or their reasoning? I, I, again, I'm in Zoo's corner. I don't like voting for myself. Um, but if you guys feel that the work that I produced uh, since last time we met uh, is high value, I'll gladly change it. So, but... 
Well, I for sure feel like it's high value. I, I think what you're doing is amazing, Will. Um, and so I think that if you want to change your vote, then feel free. I very much support you. But also, yeah, I but, but I also feel like what Mincy's doing with ZK Tech and like ZKPs and impact reporting, uh, those are not easy solutions to provide, right? Especially when you're providing them to a community of people who are all about the integrity of the impact reporting. I've learned that over the last two weeks as well. So. That's why I give it up. Uh, yeah, I'm changing my vote to Mincy because showing up for the first time in the fractal is also a thing that we're not accounting for. And so uh, I'm making the change of vote and welcome getting getting to move to a new a new a new yeah. meeting where you don't know the people when there's a game. That's that's also a, a good yeah. one. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. Well the com welcome to the community. All right. Well, you're very welcome. And thank you. Thank you for the great discussion. Very graceful and amazing uh, and amazing work all around. So I will put out the uh, the consensus poll in just a moment so that we can all submit on chain. And then I'm also checking with the other room to, to see if they'll be done because then we can uh, perhaps head back to the main community room um, within the next few minutes if they're ready. Mm. I just send a message to them and then I'm going to put out this poll uh, here. Um, this is the consent result poll and this is group number one, I believe. So now you'll be able to see um, based on the latest polls, this seems to result do at level six, me at five, and Nancy at four, and Will at three. You can give it a thumbs up if you want, if you agree. Uh, but that's optional. But we ask that um, you can hit results and be submitted here. You see the, the hypertext link. See everybody's giving thumbs up here. Um, when you click here, it will open up optimismfractal.web app. And that opens up um, once you hit the continue button there, then it should pre fill the results uh, with everybody's uh, optimism address there. And then you can just hit login and then submit it on chain. And then the way it works is that um, at least two thirds of us or three out of four of us need to submit on chain for us all to receive respect. So, um, and we need to do that within the next hour. So if everybody can please submit that on chain now, then it would be much appreciated and I'll do the same as well. And if you have any questions about, about any part of the process, it seems like you've got a, you've got a good understanding, but of course, uh, and I suppose like I just said this before, but, but feel free to ask any questions anytime if there's anything you're curious about or, with that as well. Just did. What's that? Submitted. Cool. Yeah, I see we have a hash that shows up, um, which doesn't really necessarily check because it always works, but it's EB18CH9. If anybody wanted to confirm then you could and we're working on making this much easier as i said before is working on the app it, it, it works pretty well right now to make it uh, a lot simpler than it, it used to be but working on an app that makes it like one, two, three, click it and hit. At least for me, I have to like go on a certain way on my phone because sometimes it's a little tricky. So if anybody has any issues submitting, then feel free to let me know and I can help you guide through it. Okay, well. Oh, so we got transaction confirmed. Okay, sounds good, me too. Nothing's confirmed on my side as well. Okay, excellent. Well, we reached consensus. Booyah. We all get respect. And it's been a pleasure playing the respect game with you all. I'm curious. Uh, I'll let you all know when um, the next room is ready to go back, and then we'll head back and um, We'll have time to discuss everything with the, the other room as well as get into the uh, proposal uh, for anybody who wants to stick around past the top of the hour for the um, planning session. Um, we can also just have kind of an open discussion now. So if anybody has any questions or comments for anybody or any thoughts that you want to share, then 
feel free. Uh, I'd be curious, in particular, um, and see what you thought about the first respect game um, and and how it was for you. If you have any feedback or or, or thought you'd like to share about it. Oh no, I mean I'm I'm more of a observer in the process, I would say, because I'm new. But I think overall you went. I really like the Telegram um, bot prompt. I think that makes things easier. And then um, just in terms of, um, yeah, I think it, overall, like, um, I think you're working on an app. So obviously, if it's more app, the flow is more app based, it would be easier to onboard people like me who may have questions on why we're kind of like, why we're kind of pushing, like, we chain and all these kind of basic question but yeah overall it's it's very clear because you're helpfully guiding us through all the process basically so thank you okay sounds good you're very welcome thanks for the feedback i saw you you made a uh, comment there you have a call at the top of the hour so you hop right yeah it, is, it sounds good i'm glad you're back with the new season sounds great and have a good talk about the prop and thank you very oh, much sure. Okay, talk soon. And I see, man, you got to hop off as well, too. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, feel free to head out whenever. Uh, and thanks so much, Mincy. It's it uh, it a huge pleasure meeting you. And I hope you'll be inspired to join Optimus and Fractal again. And I look forward to collaborating in the future. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you for organizing everything. Take care, everyone. Bye. All right. Bye -bye. Great to meet you, Mincy. Okay, and the oh. other room is ready now. So, we can head back there. Uh, Okay, yeah, I'm up for it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sounds good. I'll close the rooms now. And I'm gonna hit leave breakout rooms and I'll see you there. All right. Well, yeah, the other uh, group will be back in probably a minute or so. I I was looking more into your uh proposal, Will. I maybe you put or not, I I suppose um I'm not sure exactly. The proposal was for the same um, thing as the, the educational process. I never got the chance to read it, but I hope that it'll get approved in the next season. Um, um, we also made a proposal. Oh, you're talking about the VOP Mission Builders Grant? Yeah, oh, yeah. you were saying that you were saying that before in the beginning of your break room, right? That, that, that you didn't get approved yeah. for it this season, but that you got some good feedback right. so that you can learn more from next season. Yeah, exactly. So um, what we're looking to do is construct a decentralized learning management solution um on the op stack right um so um that's a big effort from a developmental perspective i'm not a developer um, i'm not a coder but we have a team that we've met uh, that's going to work on that emphasis right um the feedback we got on the grant application was that uh, they need to see more than intent because this type of solution is common although i kind of disagree with that but that's okay uh, we will go start building our MVP, and that should be completed because we are in another builder cohort right now. So I've leveraged our dev team for that builder cohort to build the MVP to produce a high-quality demo um, over the next three to four weeks. So that next time when season six opens up um, of that same effort, we can do that. Additionally, uh, we're looking to uh, submit for another grant, for a growth experiment grant, if that's available in season six. Um, so that we can have some provability of building a community of independent educators. And that, uh, you know, that grant um, request will be supportive of them and empowering them to provide their content to us in our learning center. So, yeah. Um, cool. One thing I didn't share in any of the groups, too, also I've been brought on the Charmverse team as a uh, program manager for grants as well. And um, I'm also uh, have been nominated to be a Gitcoin steward. So there's been a lot going on, four minutes is a short time to, <laughs> uh, you know, to fill that. But like Zug shared about exploring how to become a delegate in the optimism community, right? And so I feel like Gitcoin stewarding is like at that same level. Um, you know, of like inside the community itself, like the same level of like participation, right? So I'm excited to see what the future holds, but yeah, um, a lot of things have developed over the past two weeks and I'm excited for the future for sure. Uh, All right. Well. 
<laughs> it sounds great. Well, what was that song? You said, yeah, well? Oh, I said, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I love All the right. energy. I love you, um, too. Congrats, Will, on uh, on being a steward and joining the Charmverse team. That sounds amazing. Um, and then I was literally uh, told about Charmverse like in the last like three days. When you said that, I was like, now I have yeah. like a nice, perfect reason to. Okay, now Will, we definitely have to talk about like this <laughs> yes. is the topic. No, yeah. no, we we've do. We've been talking we about messaging, because... and it's. Just... I know we've been both busy. So, <laughs> dude, dude, seriously, I feel. Yeah, I'm good. I feel to... very. I, I feel number? very strongly about over I'm the next year. That. Charmverse will replace Discord as the primary uh, community yeah, and resource I, for I, Web3. I want to utilize like the next Discord very much. I've been on Discord since 2016. I'm very over it, honestly, in a lot of different things. But like, there's a lot of Web3 communities there. And it's like, I've seen people utilize it. But I very much like think there's better things that are on chain that have been being built now for this next like layer of the internet, right? So... Yeah, Super. and like my my main thing with Discord is not like the interactions or the engagement necessarily, but it's about the um, utilization of the tool because I don't feel, um, and I've got your number from the last time also. I've got you baked oh, in okay. context. We'll, <laughs> we'll get something set up. But anyways, awesome. um, I feel that there's not enough education around the utilization of the tool and how to use it in a, a thousand uh, percent no one fashion. who's in discord like threaded actually, conversations right yeah i mean i don't even know how to use discord to its full extent and like i've been using it for a long time and i just see more and more things come out but like there's no good solid discussion about it. i don't know it, it's it's an old tool for sure yeah and but yeah we'll around. we'll get together and i'll uh give you a preview of what we built in Charmverse and what some other people built in Charmverse it would be really cool. And you've already seen probably in the OP community, the grant applications that are powered by Charmverse as well. I'm not going to be a program manager for OP, so it's going to reduce the conflicts with our participation in OP. It's going to be for other programs. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of getting my feet wet and learning that side of it too. Yeah, so you were also chatting in the Eden Fractals, so um, it looks like you're you're super involved in a lot of different things, so and, you know, I know I remember seeing you on a bunch of these Music Tech Connect with Brandon David. So I always know those are those are great. Yes, sir. Great. Yes, sir. I want to get back to that. But it's the time of day that he's scheduling those is producing oh, some yeah. serious conflict. So. <laughs> All right. Well, very cool. Let us see all the collaborations happening. Thanks so much, Will and uh, Zal, for the great conversation. I'm a big fan of Charmverse, too. I also want to jump in, too, because we are just at the top of the hour. Um, and so... This is basically concluding the hour that we have scheduled for the respect game. Uh, and we still have another half hour scheduled for the planning session too. Um, so I hope that Zal and Deez Grossberg had an awesome time in the breakout room. We had a really good time with Will and Mincy and Zug and they had a drop out right before. If anybody else needs to drop out, um, then feel free to go anytime. Um, I'd also be happy before we get into the planning session too, um, that we, will, we have the proposal that I'd like to discuss and curious to hear everybody's thoughts about, um, but also curious, uh, Zal and Rosemary and Dees, um, how your room went and also um, quite interested Dees as well, um, if you're able to stick around for a bit longer, um, what you thought of the respect game um, and if you'd like to perhaps introduce yourself on the recording for the Optus and Fractal audience as well. Um, I imagine you did already for Zal and Rosemary, but for anybody who's watching this recording, um, and, and, and and by the way, also uh, Rosemary's been publishing her recordings too on the Notion site too, on the Optus and Fractal Notion site. And if anybody else who wants to record, um, we have like a contributions page where everybody can find that. Um, but yeah, for people who watch these videos, because we're promoting these the most at the moment right now, then uh, we'd be happy to hear from you, Tease, if you want to, Introduce yourself a little bit uh, for the audience and also share a little bit about your feedback about the respect game and Optus and Fractal and, and what you think, then we'd be very happy to hear from you. Absolutely. Yes, I actually covered this a little bit in our breakout room as well. Uh, my name is Dees. I've been in Web3 since 2017, uh, working in the industry since late 2019, 2020. Actually started in the Helium ecosystem doing some hardware mining, building out the mesh networks, uh, then switched to validation, ran a cloud validator for a while, uh, then worked for Harmony for in their DeFi ecosystem for a bit, um, went through a 
pretty volatile season for crypto. A lot of bridge hacks and things uh, got heavy into Ethereum DeFi at that time too, for better or for worse. Uh, then started working at Olympus DAO for a little over a year. Um, was head of marketing there, uh, did some copywriting in the early days, and then uh, have started at Mode about five weeks ago. And so that is where I really got my entry into the Optimism Superchain network, which is very much on Ethereum, and really love the vision of the Superchain and the collective um, that Optimism has created. And then really just getting to know the community. Uh, so as head of growth at Mode, we I, I talked to, for example, we're doing an incubator right now, and I talked to probably over 30 builders uh, in the last two weeks. And so really in a good spot, just obsessed with builders. I'm seeing so many amazing ideas, so many, so much incredible energy in the space. Um, and Zal is a complete reflection of that. And he said, hey, there's this thing called a fractal over here. And what's funny is I, the only thing I know about a fractal is like a big spike on a price chart. It's like, well, what is another fractal? And then I read up on it and um, I actually am a part of the Safari Club, which is a uh, kind of a marketing coalition. Um, it's a group of marketers in the space. And one of the main thesis there in the Safari Club is that everything starts with the community. It's really about community building. And that's what makes these amazing protocols and these tools and, um, you know, Brado ecosystems in Web3. And so when I read up on Fractal and what you guys are doing here, this is the most beautiful, like seedling um, portion of that, right? Really nurturing each other, sharing what you build. And then the my opinion or my thoughts on this respect game is incredible because it creates the subtle accountability from week to week, as well as excitement because you want to grow with your peers and impress them. And also it in web three, in this remote industry that we are in, and so much of us are just on our, you know, computers and in our rooms, so much of putting your heart and soul into something is just simply being seen and simply being recognized for what you're passionate about building and that is missing across the space um is that very simple recognition because that gets lost in the telegram discord channel so the fact that something like this exists where builders can come together and showcase and feel appreciated and grow together um it's really really powerful so happy to be here i'm very curious about the you know, origin stories rosemary shared the white paper Curious to learn more because I would love to yeah support this initiative, reproduce it, um, spread the word, all of all of it. Because I think uh, I think it's just really important. So I appreciate the time you guys have put in and the work and the care that you spend on this. And just really really happy to be here. It's been a great first session, and uh, I look forward to more that I can attend super super slammed uh but it's uh this is important right you can't you can't really ignore the roots so anyway thank you so much kind of a soapbox Woohoo! all right <laughs> great uh great to hear from you these thanks for the amazing feedback that's all wonderful to hear and really appreciate it uh those are some very kind words um and i'm really glad that it's so inspiring for you and that you enjoyed it so much and uh, very happy to collaborate with you whenever you can join. Uh, we have it every we have it every Thursday, and uh, welcome to join whenever you can, of course. Um, and really interested to learn more about your work. It seems like you've been working with a lot of projects that have been following over the space with uh, Helium and, and Olympus and several other ones you mentioned. Um, and I've been doing, I, I don't know that much about Mode yet, but I know it's part of the super chain and it's doing quite well. There's a lot of transactions happening there. Um, and I've listened to a couple of podcasts, I think, with one of the founders. So looking forward to learning about more mode and uh, and to help with you and mode uh, uh, however we can. And and of course, Optimum Superchain is, um, or the Optimum Fractal is working with the Optimum Superchain as well. So we're here to also um, welcome contributions from 
builders in the mode network and that's awesome that you're working with so many builders i'm also in a similar way and i've been i've been listening to talks with base and base builders and all sorts of great stuff on super chain so really appreciate your enthusiasm these um really cool to hear um and yeah i would be happy to uh discuss more with you um optimism is the mothership that's right uh i'd be happy to discuss more with you uh if you want to follow up my call sometime um or or, or reach out and we can discuss in telegram or whatever um to discuss more about the background story uh so i've been working along with many other builders on on doing this for several years now and we have a very exciting and and long history with, with lots of exciting things we're doing and we're really aiming to take this seedling, as you said, and bring it to the next level and help the world to implement these respect game and practice and thinking processes for all communities and all organizations. And we're in a position where we're ready we're, we're to build a really great app and we we want to attract more builders, help build and stuff like that. So really appreciate uh, all your enthusiasm and looking forward to collaborating with you, Deez. And welcome also, so Hadlon too. I see first you're saying great to see you and Hadlon is busy, busy break. So thanks so much for joining Hotlon. Uh, uh, Hotlon is, uh, I haven't seen Hotlon for about a month or, or two now, because he missed the past few meetings, but uh, Hotlon's been here with us since just at the beginning of Optus and Fractal. He actually invited, I think, Zal, who invited Deez. Um, so great to hear from you, uh, or great to see you. If you want to say hello, Hotlon, then feel free. We're just talking with Deez, who works with Mode Network and does all sorts of marketing stuff, and uh, he was sharing some really positive reviews too. So. Yeah, so you're unmuted. What's going on, Hotlon? Hello. No, I just unmuted to say hi. Okay. Yes. Cool. Well, I'm hi. A, been busy, but happy to drop in uh, in between calls. Okay. Sounds good. Well, I'm sure you've been busy doing uh, great stuff and, and look forward to hearing what you've been up to um, at some point soon. Hope you'll be able to join a, a respect game soon and we can hear from you. If, if you want to share a little bit about what you've been busy with or what you've been up to, then would be happy to hear uh, some updates. Uh, we also have a proposal too that we're thinking of getting into. Uh, we have 20 minutes left scheduled for the planning session. So we can get into that proposal at any point. Oh, and one thing I mentioned, uh, I meant to mention Hapan, um, I meant to mention actually during the breakout room, but there was a woman named Min Si um, today, um, Min Si Wang, I believe her name is, that uh, she works a lot with ZK, uh, uh, ZK proofs, and she's been working in this space for like nine years. So I meant to bring nice. I mentioned your name and uh, I, I, I'm not sure if you know her with your work with the PSE, um, but um, I don't know, just maybe she's somebody that, that you want to, that you want to connect with. And she also shared a lot of positive views about the respect game too. So maybe there's some opportunity, some opportunity for collaboration there. But anyway, I uh, would be happy to hear from you if you want to say anything else and hi, hop on, or if you want to discuss and that's cool too. No, I'll save, I'll save all the stuff I've been working on specifically for, you know, the next respect game and we have time to do that. But um, no, I've been tra traveling and then I got work and I got other stuff and other stuff on top of that. Um, so yeah, I'm, a, I'm excited about some of the stuff I've been working on now. I've shared it with you a little bit or I've shared it in the, the Discord a little bit. Um, but yeah, ex wow. exciting stuff. Okay, sounds great. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing more with the exciting stuff in the upcoming Respect game. Hope you've been enjoying the traveling and the work. I don't know if I ever got the chance to thank you um, in audio for making that uh, proposal for the, the IC uh, Fractal app that you worked on with Bitbeckers. Uh, that was like two months ago or so, so. I'm not sure if we spoke since then, but thanks so much for making that proposal. Um, and it's been a pleasure speaking with you. We, we were talking a little bit about collaborating with Hats Protocol too and lots of amazing uh, building going on there. So excited to see whatever you're working on um, and I really appreciate all that you're doing. Yeah, let's let's make that happen. I know, I know that that um, maybe I was I was hoping one of the the goals of that was because I knew that that you all were working on something kind of similar, and so we got it inspired by by what we were thinking about and figured um, putting that out there would help um, kind of stir stir up some ideas um, and maybe get some collaboration moving forward. Because um, I think it's some it's a it's a solution like it's something that would benefit like this group and just in, in general, um, kind of in the concept of integrated tools um, to be able to just like run consensus games and, you know, have proposals and distribute respect tokens all in one place. I mean, just make it as easy as possible for people to participate in it. 
Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And I'm putting thumbs up to the gross Marie too. Uh, yeah, so let's definitely make that happen. Let's definitely collaborate. Um, I, I think I had some, I messaged you at some point. I don't know what the best way to proceed is exactly. I, I started writing uh, feedback and I have a notion page that I can share with you. I have like several questions. I talked about with the Optimistics team. Um, and I've also been busy like trying to coordinate several different projects. Like for example, with this town hall and the idea of uh, ways we can vote with respect and stuff like that. Um, so I'm curious about the best ways that we should follow up on this. I also have been working to kind of open source. Like one of the things that made me think, oh, I see, uh, oh, I see D said you gotta run to another meeting. Got the rock stars uh, at these if you need anything. Okay, sounds great. Well, big shout out to D's and thanks so much for joining. Um, I, I, it looks like I had to go in a rush too. So really appreciate it. And, and I think I'll try to reach out to him. And uh, thanks so much all for inviting D's. So it's amazing. And also thanks all yeah, to, yeah, so you posted great. that. What's that? Yeah, no, he's great. He's been a, a, an awesome advisor to everything I've been doing over the last like six or so months. Um, and he's been giving me a couple of really dope ideas um, about what I can do to help um, find different ways to crowdfund and not just like sell an NFT like what other people are doing. Um, so I think I'm going to be working on something over the next you know, few months. And I also want to talk to you at some point in the next like week or so about uh, implementing some sort of respect game. I have a couple ways I want to add ways that we can add points and, and create an ecosystem. And I would love to do that kind of by like the end of the month is my, my time frame. So would love to chat in like the next week and a half if, if you're free. Yep. Sounds good. I'd love to talk about that too, Zal. So yeah, feel free to reach out to me whenever. Um, and then we can set up time to discuss more in detail and look forward to hearing all the cool things that you're working on. And yeah. Uh, Thanks again so much for inviting Dee's too. He seems like an awesome guy and it was really great to hear from him. Uh, I see you're asking for the heart out. I, I don't know if there's anything, uh, I, I was also in the middle of saying that, that we should definitely collaborate. And the thing I was gonna say, Hotline too, was that um, that, that the proposal that you put out, or not a proposal, I suppose, but PRD, product required and document that you put out with Bitbeckers, uh, inspired me a lot to think about how um, like, Basically, one of the things I'm aiming to do right now, in addition to like setting up the season three and stuff like that, is we have a whole bunch of like projects and tests and stuff like that in the internal optimistic database um, that I'm working on, just like basically making it public. And I've been building a project. I'm not sure if you saw it. There's a project now in the Optimism Practical Notion site to build an Optimism Practical app. And there's also a project to build a respecting app too. I think there might be. Uh, a market need for both like a really simple respect game app and like a more advanced uh optimism fractal app or fractal app that has like you know all the voting features and stuff like you had mentioned there um and so there's a whole bunch of notes that we have kind of like privately and i have like kind of like a database of features that i'm planning to move over to uh the optimism fractal notion site so that we can get like it, have it all in one place and then inspire like a kind of open source collaborative development process for this um and then i have uh I spoke about with uh, I spoke about with Tadas and, and Vlad about a month ago, or maybe a bit longer, about the uh, the IC fractal app. And there were several questions that we had, and then I summarized some of those questions in the Notion page. And that's all public, and I can share that with you. I, I was kind of waiting until it was a bit more, until I had time to kind of refine it a bit more. But I'm happy to share that now, and happy to uh, also follow up and, and discuss it however you think is best. Um, and, and and also, you said you were very busy too, so if you want to save that for I don't know, a couple of weeks from now or whenever is best for you, then no rush, but I really appreciate you making yeah. that. And I'm very much looking forward to collaborating with you on it. So my, so yeah, so my suggestion, um, I'm curious what you think about it would be to, what would work best for me maybe is to maybe in the Optimism Fractal Discord under the text channel, just make a dedicated channel to this project as a place mm -hmm. for us to kind of like document, like put stuff in there and like, and like, talk and stuff and we can put those proposals in there we can put the documents in there but it's just kind of brings it into one place so that um we can we can kind of collaborate in one um one channel that would be my suggestion as like kind of the next the next step of like uh cord coordinating on it great idea yeah i totally agree with that um and i think because i'll put at the heart too would you suggest that right now in the autism practical discord we have uh five channels general show your projects brainstorming videos and development and videos we haven't started using yet we're still figuring out how to use that uh and then development uh there's only been a few posts there i was planning on posting there several times but haven't got a chance would you suggest that we use the 
development channel for that? And or you suggest that we make a new text channel and we call it like fractal app planning or fractal app building or something like that? Or would you suggest we use a uh, thread or, or do you think it makes a big difference either way? Maybe do you have any idea about the best way to coordinate that? No, I think uh, I mean I don't I don't know I don't know the best way. Um, I think any of those could work, but um, my inclination is to like make um, its own dedicated uh, text channel so that it's persistent, it stays there, and it's like the only place, right? With development, it's like other things like mm -hmm. could be posted there or we could post there. Um, but I, but the idea of having just like one channel that's dedicated to like the the project, right? Um, to be able to move it forward um makes sense to me okay sounds good yeah i agree with that too because uh, as you said um having a specific channel could be very helpful should i just call it fractal app you think or do you have a suggestion mm -hmm. for the name okay okay yeah. fractal app yeah sure fractal app okay. we can just start it call it yeah fractal super app yeah right fractal super app or fractal app what shall it be <laughs> <laughs> um no, just whatever. I mean, we can always change the change We can name, always right? change it. So just a, to start with something, yeah. A, a, it'll be a fractal app, and then we'll make it fractal super app as Great. we further develop it, perhaps. Yeah. And so I, yeah. I, I, I just created it, uh, and then yeah, feel free to, to write something there and edit, or I'll try to also uh, share a message there as soon as possible, and also try to organize uh, those pages I have in Notion, and then share a link to yeah. those pages I have in Notion there as well as soon as I can. Yeah, yeah. Great. Cool. And then I'm like, realistically, like maybe like one to two months out uh, from having more free time um, freed up in my own life. So, so you know what to expect from me. Okay. Sounds great. Well, thank you for uh, letting me know. And uh, I, I'm very excited about our next steps too. I'm also like very busy with all these things going on too. So uh, I appreciate your busy schedule and really appreciate you making the time to, uh, make that proposal in the first place. That was like a super, super thoughtful, um, I keep saying proposal, it's not a proposal, but it was super thoughtful uh, and, and well thought out fractal app. And so I'm really looking forward to diving in deeper with you when you have a chance and um, looking forward to seeing all the great things that will come out of this fractal app uh, Discord channel and all the things we'll build together. Yeah, also don't, um, don't let me hold things up, you know? <laughs> That's the beauty of open source. Like I'll contribute where I can, but but by all means, like build stuff, um, build stuff if there's stuff to be built. Yep. I just want yep. to make sure I'm not I'm not getting in the way of it, of, uh, of anything. Well, thank you for that, but um, not at all. And and also likewise too. Um, if you want to go ahead and um, uh, I mean, that so you're you're currently busy, but hey, if you want to get started and and just like take the initiative like you did for the PRD or say Bitbecker or somebody else wants to build it, then also don't let me hold you up too. Uh, really appreciate it. I'm happy to collaborate and help however much I can. I'm also working on coordinating with Violet Oz, but they're also kind of working on their own different projects too. Um, and so working on making this kind of collaborative uh, environment for developing where we're not dependent on any one developer, any small groups of developers, but many people can build together um, and contribute in their own way and their own time when they have the time and the skills and the incentives and, and so forth to do so. So um, nice. I love um, it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm definitely going full, full forth ahead with it and working on also figuring out ways that uh, we can align these efforts and organize as well as possible and like define these. Uh, I've been using Notion a lot to define how it, how it can be designed. Um, and then um, like when, when we could use this channel to, to discuss things, uh, and then also with regards to what we were discussing over the past few weeks before the break to also uh, find ways to uh, fund developers and creators and so forth who can help build these apps as well. So uh, my hope and my goal is that uh, I suppose by the next season or by the end of the year that there'll be many, many, many developers who are helping to build it and many, many more people um, who are helping to grow fractals and will have amazing tools in the coming months. and. I believe we will. So very excited about it. Thank you so much, Hadlan. All right. I don't know if there's any other comments there. Before you go ahead, Hadlan, if you want to respond. Or Rosemary, we haven't heard you much. And you're laughing. We haven't gotten yet to the topic on the agenda. Uh, or we, we actually don't have an agenda system yet. So that was kind of the, the proposal for today. So 
uh, if nobody else has anything you want to share um, now with regards to that topic or anything else, then um, I'd say we only have nine minutes left before, after, before the uh, scheduled uh, planning session is over. So if it's good with everybody, then I'll go ahead and share a brief overview of this new proposal that I have. And I'll try to keep it like very short and I'll try to finish it up in the next like three or four minutes if it's possible. Uh, so that we can have some time for feedback. I'd love to hear what everybody thinks. Um, and then we can also, if we want, we can go longer, um, uh, but also want to respect everybody's time. And we can also follow up in the uh, Discord chat as well if, if there's anything else that comes to mind too. So I'll go ahead and share my screen now and share this proposal. As I said, we don't currently have an agenda and we talked about this several times. I, about, oh, I have to pop uh -oh. off, but I like okay. everything. I took a quick read. I love it. Um, I definitely think it's a great idea. And uh, I'm for it. I voted for it, I believe. So, um, yeah, let's uh, chat soon. Dan, I'll reach out to you. Will, I set up a time. Hold on. I'll see you soon. And Rosemary, reach out. See you guys. Appreciate it. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks all so much for the feedback. Uh, also, if you do want to, by the way, uh, sign up for the council, register for the council. Um, so I appreciate I you voting on it. Enough time. What's that? Oh no! Well, 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 well the council vote it, it hasn't been put out yet, uh, but we're going to put out a council vote uh, for next week. For this, this yeah, week? yeah. Wait, yeah, is this so the agendas one? Uh, yes, this is the agendas uh, proposal that we're talking uh, about. It and looks it, like it's up. It looks like it's up in um, yeah in snapshot though. Yeah, I will. When I propose that, I propose it to be up until next week. And so I'm getting a little confused about who is. It. And so I see Zal and me and uh, and Will all voted yes on it. And um, I guess that the counselors for the previous week, if we go to uh, I, I, if we go there, then I think it's just me, Rosemary, and Tadas. I don't know if anybody else registered, but also I don't want to keep you, uh, Zal, because you said you had to go too. So we can figure this out in the chat uh, afterwards. And no, I appreciate well, it's the support. Going to expire at the end of next week then um the two of our votes just won't count but we're just saying like we're for it like it can just be a like for now and we can see if we want to change that or whatever later. um it's not that deep i'm not too concerned um i think it's a great idea dan so i don't think uh, i honestly think it should be unanimous um but uh yeah appreciate you guys see ya all right thanks so much so have a great day peace dan peace guys peace. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. And on that note, we can also change if we if we want in the future. This isn't like a long term thing that uh, it's not like a in stone kind of decision. Uh, as always, these are opinions. Um, and so it looks like the council for this week that will decide on this proposal is me, Rose, Marie, Tadas, and two thirds of it uh, of us could make that decision. And appreciate hearing the support from Will and Zal and anybody else can also um, register for the council for next week. But for this week, I'll call you for the next seven days. The counselors are me, Rose McDoss. If anybody else wanted to uh, just share their thoughts, if you had a chance to read already, then uh, feel free to jump in. But otherwise, I can also just share a brief presentation uh, for anybody who might be watching. I already shared a little bit of a presentation uh, earlier at the top of the episode, too. So maybe I'll just keep it. Uh, very brief. I'll, I'll see how long you're unmuted, though. So if you want to go ahead and share any thoughts, then uh, feel free. Or if you have any questions about it, then feel free as well. No. I just made the week 26 council in Snapshot, by the way. So that's okay. it for next next week. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I encourage everybody to yeah, register. for that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let me send. I'll send the link. Well, thanks. Yeah, if you could put that in Discord, that'd be much appreciated. Um, snapshot.org slash number send slash um and uh, as a refresher in case anybody's not familiar um if you go to office slash details or there's also a new page that i created office slash council that has an overview of how it works as well um anybody who's in respect can sign up to be in the council and the people with the the six people who sign up with the most respect are the counselors so far we haven't had six yet so if you have any respect and you want to participate then Feel free to do so, and you can probably become a counselor. Um, and then you can help make new decisions and so forth. So lots of great opportunities there. I suppose I'll get into um, just sharing a little overview too. So this is the planning session for the next five minutes or so. Um, and I also want to get a quick shout out too to Dee's, who's working with the Optimus Super Chain with Mode too. If people aren't familiar, there's a bunch of amazing projects and chains happening in the Optimus Super Chain ecosystem. And Mode is growing really quickly. They're doing really cool stuff with the on-chain economy 
um, they have rewards, contribution, and network growth. So I recommend people to check them out. Um, there's a lot of really interesting stuff going on. So you can check out mode.network to learn more. Um, work closely with the Optimism Collective, and we'll also meet again for the Optimism Practical every Thursday at the DC, as always, um, just because we're almost done with it. Uh, the meetings, so I figure I'll say that too, so we can sign off whenever we're ready. But yeah, I also want to just put out, um, I, 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 I recommend reading the proposal if you haven't already and would really appreciate your feedback. Um, I figure to make Optimism Practical Season 3 as amazing as possible um, and really serve the greater optimism ecosystem as well as have a really great, exciting use case for uh, respect. Um, I came up with this idea of agendas, which we've been experimenting with a lot over the past year at Eden Fractal. Um, I see there's the Join the Week 26 Council post there, so and we can find it there. Thanks for sharing that headline. And I put out um, this message that I'm thrilled to introduce this proposal to start playing agendas at a new community forum called Office of Town Hall. Um, and so Kajenda is a social coordination game that allows us to uh, collaboratively set agendas, the department tell of community agendas or consensus agendas. So anybody can propose a topic and discuss and vote on topics we expect. We kind of always could do this, but now it's just like doing it in a really structured way that's scalable and simple. Um, yeah, I think this can be super helpful for priority discussions, uh, especially as more people join. We'll make sure that the topics that um, matter most get the most attention they deserve. And I'm also planning to make topics specifically related to the Optimism Town Hall to, or to specifically related to the Optimism Collective. Um, and during the planning session, we were focused a lot internal and Optimism Fractal, and we can still do that, but I think that we have tools and methods and processes um, and community members and like really great leaders who can provide a lot of value to the Optimism Collective as a whole. And Optimism Collective is looking for ways uh, to decentralize and to have uh, more ways that community members can uh, provide insights and gather the collective wisdom of the crowd and so forth. So I think it can provide a great way for Optimism Fractal to, and Respect to lead with our tools for consensus and governance and events and so forth uh, to help the Optimism Collective a lot. And we can have lots of discussions that are related to, you know, how to best uh, do retro funding basically, or like um, all these different design decisions that the Optimism Collective is aiming to make. We can have structured discussions to talk about these as well as how Optimism Collective can help. So the proposal um, is basically that anyone who's earned respect to Optimism Fractal can propose a topic by creating a poll in Optimism Town Hall snapshot space. And this is a new snapshot space called OptimumTownHall.eth uh, that hasn't been voted yet. And um, anyone who's earned respect can uh, at Optimism Fractal can vote in the polls each week with their respect for the discussion topic that they want. Uh, and you can vote on as many as you want. Um, and then whichever poll has received the most votes in the topic poll, by Monday at 17 UTC, which is three days in advance, uh, will be the topic discussed during the week's event um, after the respect game. And I, this proposal is also saying to change the planning session, which was very originally suggested by Hotline, into the town hall. Um, and then we can invite many more people on the collective to this, and uh, we can make all sorts of amazing uh, topic proposals. I see we only have about a minute left to the top of the hour or two. So if anybody has to run, then feel free. But I'll also just be a quick one to show this announcement post where there is more details about these. Um, and you can also find um, or some rationale too. So this isn't super well organized yet, but um, there's a lot of rationale basically where how this has been inspired by looking at all the things that the Office and Collective and the Office Foundation is putting out about um, how they're aiming to evolve the collective and how we can serve a role with this. So um, I'll work over the next week or so to clarify this better, but there's lots of things that we can serve basically and it's available if anyone's check out here. And then there's also projects here um, that I'm working on to evolve this process of agendas and implement this process and develop this consensus game and also to build out this town hall um, and how we can promote it and to grow it and so forth and generally to plan up to the fact of season three. So for anyone wants to get involved. Um, really appreciate um, the feedback or contributions and so forth. There's projects where you can see a bunch of tasks and so forth that I'm working on. I worked on a bunch of blog posts like to introduce the town hall and stuff like that. Um, so you can check it out if you're interested in, checking, if, in getting involved and feel free to reach out and you can see a similar thing for the Optimum Town Hall um, and for the season three. So very curious everybody's thoughts about it. Uh, we're at the top of the half hour now. So um, as we discussed, we can vote on this in the uh, snapshot and then if with this gets uh, the approval from the week 25 um, council members, then I suppose we'll start doing this next week. Um, and we could always change it um, before then um, or after then at any point too, if we want to modify the process or anything like that. But I'm really excited about this process and I hope that everyone will enjoy it. And 
really appreciate everybody uh, sharing the amazing experience today. So I'm um, happy to stick around longer. Um, and thanks for the claps, Will. Um, this is our first week back for season three. So really stoked for season three with uh, this, this share season three with y'all. And um, that, that, that's all for me for this proposal. I can go into more detail about another time or in the uh, Discord chat, but um, I won't speak for too long. And if anybody has any thoughts or feedback that you wanna share, then feel free, um, curious to your thoughts or else we can wrap it up whenever everybody's ready as well. I like it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Not trying to one up you, Rosemary, but I just love it. <laughs> Let's see how it plays out. And this is, sorry, just to clarify, this is for, this will be town halls that are open to all the entire optimism community, right? So it's kind of like optimism fractal will kind of be hosting these town halls and then mm -hmm. using this tool uh, to get people engaged, like vote on the, on the topics or the theme or whatever. But it is open to, to all of uh, optimism is the idea. Uh, yeah, so it's open to everybody in optimism. Um, and the way that I've been um, thinking about it, I think it was something that Rosemary said at first when I shared the idea with her, is like Optimism Town Hall powered by Optimism Factor Respect uh, is one way to put it. Like, uh, But also like basically nice. grown from the Optimism Factor community. And yeah, it's like right after the Optimism Factor event. So it's like an event that the Optimism Factor is like collectively building and so forth um, and using our respect and like our voting mechanism and so forth to do so. Um, and yeah, um, we're still able to, of course, like it, 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 it's very flexible and all the proposal is asking for, like it has some details of the town hall, but really um, it's just about implementing the structure. So of course we could use it to just um, propose any topics that are specifically related to office and practical and we don't need to invite more people if we want to like, you know, just keep it and have some more internal discussion yeah. and so forth. But, but, but one of the ideas is that like, I think that we're at a point where uh, the Optimism Collective needs what we can provide and we can provide what the Optimism, Vector, what the Optimism Collective needs. Um, and so we can really start engaging more in the Optimism Collective discussions, inviting people more from the Optimism Collective, like people who are badge holders, delegates and so forth, yep. and providing no, a lot it. of value in that way. That's a, it's a great way of engaging with the wider, the wider Optimism community. Yeah, I agree. So well, thanks. I appreciate the feedback. Well, I voted yes. So take my OPF. Okay. Uh, sounds yeah. good. Well, I, I'll, I'll take that. Actually, OPF it doesn't vote. wait, but it doesn't, my vote doesn't count because I'm not on the council for last, for last week, for this week. So it actually uh, doesn't, I'm just a signal vote. I'm just yeah. signaling. Okay. So cool. technically it still counts for sure uh, as, as a powerful signal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. But we yeah, technically for it to be approved, uh, then we'll have that uh, vote and we'll see if Rosemary, she says she likes it and I've already voted yes. Uh, and I'll see, uh, I you know Dadas was generally in favor of the idea of structuring it with uh, respect voting. So I think most likely it'll be approved as well. I'm sure that Dadas will take uh, votes from everybody else into account um, as well. And then, Perhaps next week, uh, we can also get in more details too. Like I had some ideas about how at some point maybe we can make a new respect token where we could, I thought about calling it OPC and we could reward it to, or award it to people in the collective like badge holders and retro PGF recipients and delegates and stuff like that so that more people in the collective can vote on it. And I also had ideas about different topics uh, that we can discuss and so forth. And if any of you has any topics that you want to discuss now, then feel free to post it there. That uh, snapshot space is live. so. If you wanted to go ahead and make a top proposal first or however many top proposals you want to make, then you can make it um, there in that uh, Optimum Town Hall space. Um, and I suppose we'll get started next week if it gets approved. Um, so there's, there's a lot more. I've been thinking this constant. I'm super excited about it. So there's uh, much more I want to say, but also we're uh, five minutes past the top of the hour, so we're past the top of the half hour. So um, happy to hear any more feedback if we want, but otherwise uh, we can also follow up with this more at next week's event and at, over the week. Um, so curious, uh, Will or Marie Hotline, any more thoughts you'd like to share about this proposal or anything else you'd like to share that's on your mind? Or should we start wrapping it up? I'm good to wrap it up. Okay, sounds good. I see Hotline's giving a thumbs up and Rosemary is shaking her head yes, nodding her head. Okay, cool. So um, I think we can wrap it up then on a go up to the practical. Uh, and this has been a wonderful first 
event of season three of Optimism Practical. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here with us. Really appreciate it so much, Will and Hadlan, Rosemary, and Big Chat, and everybody who joined today. I hope you'll join us for each Optimism Practical event of season three. We'll be back on Thursday at 17 UTC and going forward um, with the Optimism Town Hall, I think. We'll see. Well, anyway, <laughs> tune in next time and join us next week. Thanks so much, and we'll see you then. And I'll count down three, two, two one, one, zero. zero. Go, go, go. go. Optimism oh, fractal. Optimism fractal. fractal. Woo. Woohoo. Thanks, everyone. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.